What is a cult? And how does someone know if the faith they are following is harmful? Cults differ from traditional religions as they tend to be closed off from the world and run by a single charismatic leader. In a cult, everything depends on the personal relationship with this leader and followers are often required to separate themselves from the rest of the world and adhere to strange belief systems and ritualistic behavior. Which cults are the biggest and baddest? That's what we'll be looking at today. In this episode of the Infographic Show, Top 10 Deadliest Cults. In 2012, archaeologists may have discovered the oldest cult when they unearthed objects that shed light on how one was operating in Judah at the time of King David. The archaeological excavation was of the 3,000-year-old fortified city Kirbet Keafa, located about 19 miles southwest of Jerusalem. Researchers uncovered rich assemblages of pottery, stone, and metal tools, and many art and cult objects. The archaeologists also uncovered shrines from the time of the early biblical kings in the Holy Land, providing the earliest evidence of a cult. This suggests that the population of Kirbet Keafa observed two biblical bands of pork and graven images, and thus practiced a different cult than that of the Canaanites or the Philistines, Garfinkel said in a press release issued by the university. The discoveries also offer support for the biblical depiction of King David, he said, but the claims were also met with skepticism by other scientists, and it's not easy trying to verify exactly what was going on 3,000 years ago from digging a hole in the ground. So what about cults of recent times? Well, here's our list of the 10 deadliest ones. Number 10, Hono Hana or Yorokobi Kazoku Noa. That's quite a mouthful, as well as a very dangerous Japanese cult. The 30,000-member Japanese organization was led by Hogan Fukunaga, who claims he can see someone's past and future by looking at their feet, according to the Japan Times. Presiding judge Tsutomu Ayagi accused Fukunaga of exploiting people's fears. He used shocking words to fuel their concern, falsely claimed their diseases can be cured through training in his cult, and swindled exorbitant amounts of money from them, the judge said as he denounced Fukunaga's acts as a vicious crime. Fukunaga extorted $1.3 million from 30 followers by diagnosing them with serious illnesses with his fake foot therapy. Thankfully, this quack was sentenced to 12 years in prison. He should be out by now, but we couldn't find out if he has a new line of work. Number 9. Church of Euthanasia From spinning records to cult leader, the Church of Euthanasia was founded in 1992 by software developer and DJ Chris Corda. Corda was inspired by Dadaism, an artistic movement that emerged during World War I with a mission to destroy the hoaxes of reason and to discover an unreasoned order. In 1995, Corda created a suicide assistance hotline to help Americans kill themselves. The number was displayed on a billboard along with the message, helping you every step of the way. Thousands helped. How about you? The idea was to play callers pre-recorded instructions on how to end their life. Thankfully, the phone company wouldn't activate the line. During the 1990s, the church even appeared on The Jerry Springer Show. The church still has a website, though it's hard to tell how dangerous the organization is today, and Corda seems to have moved on to 3D printing. Number 8. Order of the Solar Temple In Geneva in 1984, the Solar Temple was founded by Luke Jarrett, a homeopathic physician and New Age lecturer Joseph de Mambro. The central teaching of the Solar Temple was that the Earth would face some sort of apocalyptic event in the mid-1990s, and to prepare for this event, members believed it was necessary to enter a higher spiritual plane. As part of this process, 53 members of the Solar Temple were murdered or committed suicide in Canada and Switzerland on October 4th and 5th, 1994, and the buildings in which they died were set on fire. The following year, another 16 bodies were found in the French Alps, also buried in a similar ritual. According to the LA Times, each body had at least one bullet wound, and at the crime scene, investigators found vials of toxic drugs and sedatives. Number 7. Rajneesh or Osho Cult Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh, also known as Osho, began a spiritual movement in 1970 which was an odd mix of capitalism, meditation, and open sexuality. Osho arrived in America from India and set up a commune in Oregon. His followers tried to take over the Wasco County government by poisoning the entire town, contaminating salad bars in local restaurants. Over 750 people fell ill and 45 were hospitalized. Though Osho was the supposed spiritual guru behind the cult, the lady in the driver's seat was Ma Anand Sheila an Indian-born American-Swiss spokesperson of the Rajneesh movement who was eventually convicted of multiple attempted murders. The crazy story was aired on Netflix recently in a six-part documentary called Wild Wild Country that shocked viewers with tales of poison and paranoia. Number 6. The Children of God 
In 1968, David Berg started the Children of God, a cult that was described in an article for The Guardian as devoting themselves to the worship of Jesus Christ and promiscuous sex. Berg announced that female members should have sex with men so as to convert them. He named this practice flirty fishing. In his 1979 annual report, he stated that his FFers, or flirty fishers, had witnessed to over a quarter of a million souls, loved over 25,000 of them, and won about 19,000 to the Lord. This promiscuous practice was eventually stopped due to AIDS-related concerns. It was religious prostitution, Berg's daughter Deborah said, I had to quit looking at the man as my father, but as the leader of a worldwide movement that was destroying lives. David Berg, who was also known as Moses David, is now living in seclusion, but still communicates to his converts through letter writing. Number 5. The Manson Family Charles Manson is best known for being a serial killer, but when you look at cults online, his name consistently comes up. This is because in 1967, he organized a group of followers under the name The Manson Family. Though not exactly a religious cult, the so-called Manson Family incorporated ideas from Scientology, Satanism, and various New Age ideologies. Manson preached to his devotees that the United States was on the brink of an apocalyptic race war known as Helter Skelter, named after the Beatles song. On August 1969, Manson ordered his followers to carry out a twin set of killings, including that of film director Roman Polanski's pregnant wife, Sharon Tate, and supermarket executive Leno LaBianca. Manson's followers committed a series of nine murders at four locations in July and August 1969. In 1971, he was convicted of first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder for the deaths of seven people. Manson served out his life sentence at California State Prison in Corcoran and died at age 83 in 2017. Number 4. The Feizrachmanist Movement A self-proclaimed prophet had a vision from God. He would build an Islamic caliphate under the Russian city of Kazan. The digging began in the early 2000s, and 70 followers soon moved into an 8-level subterranean labyrinth of cramped cells with no light, heat, or ventilation. It wasn't until 2012 that Russian police discovered the underground Islamic sect. According to British newspaper The Guardian, Faizrakman Sadarov, who at the time was 83 years old, had his followers living in a series of dirty, damp cells on eight different levels underneath a shabby house. Aged between 1 and 17, the children rarely saw the light of day and had never left the property, been to school, or seen a doctor. Sadarov, who declared himself a prophet in contradiction to the principles of Islam, was charged with negligence, said Irina Petrova, a deputy prosecutor in the provincial capital of Kazan. Number 3. The Branch Davidians In 1981, David Koresh, born Vernon Wayne Howell, went to Waco, Texas to join the Branch Davidians and by 1990 had become their leader. The 1993 standoff between federal agents and the Branch Davidians outside Waco, Texas is one of the most well-known cult stories and it dominated news headlines for months. The FBI was attempting to arrest leader David Koresh and so raided the group's 77-acre complex when they began to exchange heavy gunfire at the site. Four agents with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and six Branch Davidians were killed in the firefight. What happened next was one of the most televised cult standoffs in history. For 51 days, Koresh and most of his followers refused to leave the compound. FBI negotiators tried to reason with Koresh, but to no avail. The standoff ended when agents in armored vehicles raided the building, but a fire, which witnesses claim Koresh said himself, broke out and engulfed the complex. Only nine people inside survived. Critics called what happened at Waco a massacre. The siege left 75 people dead, many of whom were children. Number 2. Heaven's Gate Heaven's Gate was an American UFO religious cult based in San Diego, California. It was founded in the early 1970s by Marshall Applewhite, a Texas music teacher, and Bonnie Nettles, a nurse. They met during a stay in a psychiatric institution and renamed themselves Bo and Peep. Heaven's Gate was the first well-known cult of the internet era, using this new technology to share their beliefs and recruit followers online. In March 1997, 39 members, including Applewhite, wearing black tracksuits and sneakers, ate applesauce laced with barbiturates, and washed it down with vodka. They then laid down with bags over their heads, wearing purple shrouds. They died believing their bodies would be transported to a UFO traveling in the tail of the Hale-Bopp Comet. A strange and dangerous story, Heaven's Gate is still one of the most notorious cults of the 20th century. So where do we go from here? Number one is where we go, to the People's Temple Agricultural Project, better known as Jonestown, a remote settlement 
established by the People's Temple, an American cult under the leadership of Reverend Jim Jones in North Guyana. His former followers report that the leader encouraged physical fighting, spying, and the use of fear. At its peak, the temple had connections with many left-wing political figures and boasted 20,000 members, though it's hard to verify the actual numbers. There's a great deal to be said about this cult, but it's without a doubt best known for the events of November 18, 1978, when 918 people died in a mass murder and suicide pact. The mass suicide and killings at Jonestown resulted in the greatest single loss of American civilian life in a deliberate act prior to the September 11th terrorist attacks. Of the nearly 1,000 church members who began the day in Jonestown, only 33 survived to see the next day. Without a doubt, this makes the People's Temple Agricultural Project the deadliest cult on our list. So. Can you think of other deadly cults not mentioned here? Have you ever come into contact with a real cult? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to watch our other video called Why Was Jack the Ripper Never Found? Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!